Welcome to the show, kids. Today, we are at the TELUS Science Lab. Here it is. Science Center, here we come. This Rubik's Cube is a world record. I'll make sure. We'll take the stars that we have. and dance like no one's watching. You got helpers. You charged it to eight percent. Let's see what happens, kids. Let's try that again. I'm gonna do every ball at the same time. Both stuff. Yeah. But that was some cool music, right? Yeah. Let's go see what else in here. Yeah. Oh. Music. You're making music by shining light. Yeah. Those are solar panels. Here we go. Look at this. That's how lightning is made. Yeah, little lightnings. predict the future is to invent <laughs> I'm gonna go up there.
This is crazy. I'm almost at the very top. Let's see what else is in there. Whoa. Follow me. Although. I wonder what the dish was. What? What the? Right here. Concrete dish. Maybe it's for hearing sounds. Yeah, so it's for talking to each other. Hello? If you are here. And there is another one all the way by the building. And you guys can talk to each other. This is like a sound kind of thing. If you want to talk to me. Hello? Hello? I want to see what's in. Oh, it's like a maze. You could go through. Nice. Let's go. Cool. I've never been to a maze in my life. Yeah, cute little snakes. What? Cute little snake made out of the tire. Okay, when it rains, the maze gets muddy. Smile your own camera. Ready, set, go. Oh, wow. That's getting hard for me. Super important thing. More deep into the mirror. It's a mirror. This is crazy. This one's going to be hard. Dead end. Green room. Orange. Wow. Sensory overload. We're stuck here for a long time now. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you the camera. Oh man, I'm stuck. I have to take off my backpack. We might be stuck here forever. There's a second floor. We're going upstairs. Help 
This is fun. <laughs> we hang it on the pole. Prepare to be amazed. I'm gonna lay down on a bed of nails. There's nails right here. <laughs> Let's go back downstairs now. I don't know how to stay. Hen's glove, nor nor the flask, okay? So what you're just touching right there is an ordinary cloud. What does it smell like? What does it feel like? Is it very hot? Is it very cold? Does it have any kind of scent at all? It doesn't feel like nothing. That's right. That's right. Well, remember, you don't touch your glove or the... Put your hands to the cloud. Can you feel it? the airplane and roll down the window and stay just let me... That's what you're going to feel. That's, that's what it... All right, guys. Now, liquid nitrogen can be used to make clouds just like that, but it has many other uses. In fact, it can be used to make something called superconductors. It can take some steel and make it very, very, very 
great at passing electricity through those frozen electrons. Oh, the most favorite thing it can do is make instant ice cream. Oh, you just add a little whipping cream, a lots of sugar, some liquid nitrogen, and it's there. Would you like to take some liquid nitrogen home? Yeah. Yeah, but, well, it's only fair if you take some home. Everyone gets to take some home, right? Yeah. Who wants some liquid nitrogen? Yeah. Okay, we gotta make sure it goes in a container that it is sealed at all times. So I have a yogurt oh, container here. Don't worry, I have lots of these yogurt containers. Yeah. I love yogurt. And I'm going to put it inside here. I'm going to seal it up and get it going, okay? Let's take some All right, and you can take this one. Actually, you can just take that one. Let's out. take some liquid nitrogen. See you later. Bye. 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 Oh no, the, the top seems to be, you know, getting bigger and bigger. I don't, I don't think it's going to contain it inside of there. It looks like it's just going to pop right out. Oh, oh my gosh. What happened is that the liquid nitrogen can make things very, very brittle. They lose something called elasticity. And when they do that, they cannot absorb any kind of force to it, which causes something called a cascading effect. Basically, all the little plastic molecules burst into one, burst into another, and it's like a whole bunch of dominoes going down all at once. And another thing it's probably done is expand. Oh, that's right, because when things go a liquid to a gas, they expand, and our liquid nitrogen expands at a rate of 700 to 1. That means if I had one container of liquid nitrogen, I'd have 700 containers of gas. And we're going to use that expansion of gas as our fuel. All right, so why don't you fill one of our bottle rockets? She's going to fill it up half with hot water. And remember what happened when the hot water and the liquid nitrogen got together? Yeah. It turned into a cloud. But it's actually expanding at a rate of 700 to 1. And we're going to use that expansion rate. Yeah, probably. That looks great. We'll try that one. We're going to use that expansion rate in order to pr provide something called thrust, which will shoot a super cold gas and hot water underneath our rocket. And every action has to have an equal and opposite reaction, and hopefully we'll shoot our rocket to the moon. All right, count us down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Do we want to do one more? I want to do a hundred thousand. I want to do a trillion. I want to do a quadrillion more. Okay. Oh, it's going to go so high this time. All right, now count us down from ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! And that concludes your final science lesson. Here. See you in the next video. There's an all new to Raiden Pokemon Go Raiden.